Alrighty, in part three of working the basic files of Liquid Story Binder, we've created primary listings file, we've had our to all files listings pop up, and we made a workspace out of it. Right? We created a builder within the primary file listings window. We named it Example Builder, and from that Example Builder, we created a uh, chapter. The chapter is a um, compilation of everything that we had in our builder with our title and descriptions in bold if we want to include them. All right. <coughs> this makes the builder a very handy item and <coughs> there are two more handy items that go with it. The first handy item that goes with the builder is a checklist. All right, so we go to create here in our primary file listing window, and then we go to create a new checklist. Let's call this example checklist. All right, we do a click, and we have a checklist window open up. Resize, put it about here, and again, we want to make sure we save. Save this our primary file listing, so we have our. Uh, checklist within it and can call it up whenever we want to. Now, here's the thing about a checklist. Checklist and an outliner. Actually, we're going to take the first one first. In a checklist, it's basically like working with the left side of the builder window. Here we have a title and here we have a description. Okay? Is the description. So we enter a title, we enter a description, and then what do we do? We just hit enter and it pops us up a new title field, title and description field. So we can type in item number one, description one, right? That's done. We hit enter and we can just keep going. Item number two. And oh yeah, I just saw something else. Item number three. Oh yeah, right. And how about uh Number four, uh, number four uh, item, and uh, you know how about uh, fifth item, right? In other words, it's um, enter and type. Press enter and type. Press enter and type. Okay, and if we want to, we hit tab. And it clicks us down into the description field. But if we're in the description field and we hit enter, it pops us back up to the title field, gives us a new <coughs> window, or gives us a new entry area. And the uh, other item. In other words, with a checklist, it's a matter of being able to enter things very rapidly. Just hit enter, type it in, and go. Enter, type it in, and go. Press enter and type. Press enter and type. Okay, and if you want a description, just tab to description. Type in the description, okay? And that basically gives us this list. Now, if we go back up here and we say, oh, I want to put something in right there. Okay, well, if we select that one, when we go to a new, if we hit this, uh, a new item icon, or if we just hit enter, it inserts something. Call this item 3B, okay? And we can insert things into our list. We can also take these items and move them up and down with the arrows. Now, <laughs> the nice thing also about a checklist is, is that, for instance, item number one, let's say that's kind of important to us, so let's right click and go to symbol. Okay, and here's all these symbols we can put it with. Let's say that we want to put a star by this item because it's kind of important. Okay, so here's our star. If we don't like that star, we will right click to symbol Go down here, click an empty space, and go, okay, thank you. What I meant to do was put the start on item number two. So we go to symbol, we go find our little star, hit okay, and there's the star on here. Let's go here and say that uh, we want to, uh, we've finished this item, so let's put a little check mark beside it. Okay, that's taken care of. Click, click, okay. Um, we can also uh, check these items as being complete or being incomplete. All right. So let's uh, go here to the fifth item and say that this item is complete. 
Lang, so it puts a little X right there. Check mark or a little X, right? We go to the side and we say, oh wait, it's not complete, incomplete, so it takes that away. Yes? So we can go check marks or X and we can X off these things in our checklist. If we want to use it as a checklist. Now, another way to use it is to just take story notes as they come to us or in whatever kind of sequence we want to because here's the really neat trick about the checklist. We go here to File, click File, go to Convert, and we can convert the checklist into a chapter, chapter line notes, or into a builder. So we'll convert, we'll make our checklist into a builder. We click here, Example Checklist Builder. That's what we'll call this, okay? And it says, OK. And here we have a builder. Now you'll notice that this in this builder, all of our items from our checklist have now become tabs within the builder. And the descriptions are carried with them, right? The symbols are not carried with them, they just become tabs over here, of which we can, you know, pick out a color if we want to. Right? Oops, I meant to put that down there. Oh well. Anyhow, we can, you know, change we can do these over the color code, whereas the symbols don't transfer, right? So now we've got our checklist in our builder. Okay? Now one of the things I like about the builder is that we want to set our margins. Just a left click where you want the left margin, and then right click where you want the right margin. I'll mention that now and mention it later. Okay? Uh, <coughs> and we can set our margins to anything because this is rich text file and it doesn't matter. Uh, if we transport them out, they'll transport to whatever margins we set and whatever other processor we want. But basically, what we've done here, we've taken a checklist, which is real fast to create. Fast and easy to create, right? And we got a big checklist down here, and we say, okay, I want to make this checklist into a binder, and then I'm going to work on it over here in the word processing window, right? For instance, we could go with story parts or story ideas that have come to mind and, you know, just jot them down in a checklist. Or things that, like, uh, for instance, I use it for a fix-it list. Things that I, I have to go back in his story and fix every once in a while, yes? Okay, so, we can turn our checklist into a builder. And, like creating a chapter from a builder, what we have to do is we have to go here, we have to say, oh, I need to keep this builder in my primary file listings, but I didn't create it here, so we go to Items, Add Files, and we want to put that builder in here. Well, golly, all these files, where's it at? Where's it at? Okay, how about if, okay, these are, it lists, it'll list everything here, but what if we just went down here to uh, Builders, click Builders, and all, we're wanna, all we see then is which builders we have in our list. And here it is, Example, Checklist, Builder. We hit that, make selection, and now it's in our primary file listing, so we can call it up anytime we want to, right? And again, that's the nice thing about the primary file listings. We can go to our checklist, click it, there's our checklist, oh, thank you, got it. Or to our builder, and there is our builder. Right. <coughs> so we can create a checklist and then turn it into a builder, just like we can create a builder and then turn it into a chapter. So, too, we could create a checklist, turn it into a builder, and then when we get done with it, we can turn it into a chapter, which is basically everything in one document. Okay? Now, if you'll continue on with me, we'll go to one more kind of file. Uh, that uh, Liquid Story Binder is really good about. Alright? So, I hope you'll tune into uh, part four. <coughs>